Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Private Pile. Uh, he's a character in the, in the film Full Metal Jacket. He had a severe haircut and he was overweight. <laughs> Hanks. After losing weight, he had a severe haircut, so comparisons were, were made between him and Forrest Gump and Hanks' character in Saving Private Ryan. Oh. Porch. Hey. <laughs> because of his protruding top lip. It looks like the porch at the front of the house. <laughs> Smithers. This system's character wears glasses, and so does Mike. And just because he's a sensitive soul, friends somehow misread this as being a little on the camp side. <laughs> Smithers' top lip also sticks out. <laughs> Dad. Again, he's a sensitive soul, which friends read as being a little on the camp paternal side. Superman. Clark Kent wears glasses and so does Mike. Rod and Todd. <laughs> These Simpsons characters are very sincere and have curly hair and so does Mike. Their top lips also stick out. Head. <laughs> Work it out for yourself. Uh, suede head. The hair, it's all about the hair. The new foot. He has big feet. The engine. Self proclaimed. He could run around a lot on the football pitch, but not much else. Especially now. <laughs> the hooded claw. He has a fairly prominent nose and chin, which one school photographer captured superbly. His character from Penelope Pitstop also had a prominent nose and chin. Castrol. Mike used to wear hair gel. Everyone used to wear hair gel, but Mike wore more than most. And was so called Castrol after the popular engine oil, Castrol GTX. Mike once thought his, uh, this was just a Bristolian attempt to say Castro. <laughs> and they were in fact likening him to the, <laughs> and they were in fact likening him to the Cuban leader Fidel Castro. I somehow doubt it. In case you're not, <laughs> in case you're not familiar with the Bristol dialect, there is a propensity to add an L to any word ending in a vowel. Hence, idea becomes ideal. And Ikea, I kill. As the, as deal. As do. As do. As do. As do. And little. <laughs> oh no. Mugger. This was my nickname for Mike when we were growing up. No idea how that started. Now a lot of people call him it, although Bristolians call him Muggle. I'll click this one. <laughs> then of course there's uh, uh, Uncle Mikey. Ah, oh. it's lovely. Isn't it? Mike Wait. Heard that one last night. I think it's a play on lightweight. <laughs> Mike Wait. Mr. Roberts. Mr. Mikey. Mr. Michael. My. Anyway, the list goes on. 